the first thing that attracted me to the A-word was the fact it was written by Pete Bowker. I've, I've been a huge fan of his work and jumped at the chance to work with him. It was kind of one of those scripts that when you first start reading it, it just grabs you straight away. I don't know, it was just so beautifully written, beautifully paced. It was funny, it was sad, it was heartbreaking and warm. I like stories that are about people and about relationships and that's what this is. It's a family story and Pete's really great at writing that kind of multi-generational, just the truth of being in a relationship. Peter Bowker has got a fantastic ability to make, in some ways, what might seem quite simple on the page, kind of funny and touching, but not overly melodramatic. He's just got a really nice balance in his writing which I really admire. The bigger themes I find really interesting. In terms of it focuses on a little boy who by definition of his condition can't communicate very well, but it expands that to how all of us have difficulty communicating and the gap between what we want to say and what, and what we do say and all those difficulties. The show lives or dies by us finding the right actor to play the part of Joe. It, it was the central role around which we built our family and we started a long, long way out from shooting looking for the right actor. Andy Pryor, the casting director, then has a team. They go out and contact schools, drama groups, agents, anything. You know, put it on the radio, go online. Do you want to be on a TV show? And then they just start meeting people, just doing a very, I just gave them a very simple, seeing Marty Bum with the headphones on. Um, that was it, really. We narrowed it down to four or five boys and then we looked at them on tape. And... Frankly, Max Fento, who is playing Joe, was everybody's first choice from the moment we saw him. He has a real natural presence on screen. He has an energy that's right. Uh, he's been remarkable. I remember when I first read the scripts thinking, this is a lot to ask of a, you know, five or six year old child. This is quite, this is gonna be really challenging, you know. I can't imagine them having found anyone other than Max. But he does it with brilliant humour and good grace and, you know, I think he's enjoying it. It's obviously a very challenging thing he's got to do. He's six years old, he's having to play a child with autism. I mean, I don't really think it gets more difficult than that. He's so funny. He's a little pro. He's a little old man, but he's amazing. He's, so, he's brilliant. He's a little pro. You know, it's a massive, overwhelming thing to be involved in a production like this, and he's done, he's done a fantastic job. I do, yeah, I don't know how he does it. Maybe he could tell me and <laughs> give me some tips. Every day through pre-production, we wondered if we would find him. And every day through shooting, we wondered how we've been this lucky. He's been brilliant, he's been amazing. Setting the show in the Lake District was a key decision. It is the canvas upon which our story plays out. It's stunning, it just changes all the time. And the landscape is both incredibly beautiful and always carries a threat. And I thought, if you thought you were living in paradise until the moment you had a child who might be vulnerable, then I think that's interesting. The landscape plays a, a role in the storytelling then. We shot the first three weeks in the Lake District. We did all the exterior stuff first, so we got a real sense of the environment they live in. I think for any character in any story, that's key. It's massively important for the character of Joel, that wilderness, that space. So if there's a metaphor for for how he, dealing with his condition and, and his autism. Having some days of sunshine and rain, you kind of see how tiny people we are and, and with all these, all these massive things around us and how you, you begin to concentrate on your little clan, your little family when you get a bit of news. So having a very vast setting that's very changeable, I think, is absolutely perfect. They were about how families communicate with one another and how sometimes we think we're communicating and actually we're not. And any audience can look at the A word and hopefully see themselves or people they know reflected. I think they'll really connect to it because they'll connect to this family and they'll, they'll see all the same dramas and hopes and fears and battles that everyone has within their family. I think it's a nice blend of comedy and drama. I think it reflects how we all get through life. It's got everything and I think that's amazing for something so simple as well. I mean, it's just a normal family. It's funny, it's very touching, it's got strong characters and a complex family dynamic and it also doesn't shy away from the issue. You know, there's no bells and whistles, and by that I mean, you know, there's no car chases, there's no special effects, there's no, uh, 
you know, murder or anything like that. It's just about a family, and it's very honest and it's very open and it's almost a simple story, but beautifully complex and beautifully told, I hope.